match. Well, soon the lights will come back on at a West Side football stadium. Now the team is allowed to play again. The season for the Western Hills and Dater High School football team was halted after an alleged hazing incident. The program is now moving forward, but with a new interim coach. As Kendria LaFleur reports, it is bittersweet news for some parents and students. Football season is back on for Western Hills and Dater High School after being put on pause. Kind of happy right now. But the coach they've known won't be on the sidelines. Coach Armand Tatum was let go after a video circulated of some players hazing another student. The video showed a group of boys pulling off another boy's clothes as the victim struggled to get away. The victim and one of the other boys are brothers. At the end of the day, a child was very embarrassed and I don't think no kid should be embarrassed. We're trying to be a part of something that is seen as like a family. Students, parents, and the Hamilton County prosecutor say Tatum had no involvement in the incident and should be back at work. A meeting with parents was held Thursday night. A parent provided us with this video. We'll introduce our interim coach, Coach Julian Jones. The district has now named a temporary head coach. Julian Jones was introduced during the meeting. He is currently an assistant coach at Withrow High School. I'm appreciative of the coach who has stepped in, but we do miss our coach a lot and we do need him here. That was nearly two weeks ago, and those students say they still feel the same. One of them tells me she feels like their calls have been ignored. We have been yelling a lot for coach and the fact they just completely disregarded him. I really don't feel like they took what we said and what we felt into real consideration. Something echoed by parents. Hopefully they're able to get the original coaching staff back. Hopefully they're able to be able to build that bond again. Practice will resume next week along with the scheduled games. In Western Hills, Kendra LaFleur, WCPO 9 News.